hey guys and welcome to today's video so in today's video we're going to be discussing how to catch sniper entries for a swing trade yeah, so i'm going to be showing you in a very simple approach how to for you to catch sniper entries if you're a swing trader and this is going to blow your mind actually and we're going to just be using the smart money concept mind you um based on the previous video the introduction video i talked about swing trading here on this channel um I told you that there are two ways we're going to be using um, to identify our swing um, trade and potential. We're going to be at first going to be focusing on whether we are an intraday swing trader or whether we're an intraday um, swing trader. In other words, if we're an intraday, we're looking to capture a swing within a particular day. But if we are an intraday um, swing trader, we're going to be looking to catch um, trades within um two to three or four days you know what i'm saying so um today we're going to be actually focusing on being how to catch interday um price swings you know what i'm saying and it's going to be sniper entries just the way you like it and this is very easy it's something you can go on in your chat immediately after this video and start looking out for these things for yourself and just using the things that i've discussed previously here on this particular channel so it's not any um um anything new the same smart money concepts and market maker models and it's just going to blow your mind so the price swing we're going to be looking out to catch is just this um whole price swings here this whole price swings to the buy side and you can see this is one two three four five six seven days so it took seven days um for this particular price swing to actually pan out to our particular objective so i'm going to be going to the trading view platform to show you um using the replay to how you'd have anticipated this move and actually how you would have caught it so without further ado we are here in the trading view platform and this is the same price action on gj you can see the british pounds japanese yen so we're going to be going right into it so i'm going to be bringing out the replay to and i'm going to be cutting out price up to this particular region right here so let's say this is what we have in price right here you're just coming to the gj for the week and this is what you're looking at and this is what you're seeing the first thing you want to mark out you want to understand um the the particular model we're going to be using right here first of all um is we're going to be using the market makers model you want to see the market makers model i want to talk about the market makers model we're looking for areas of accumulation we're looking for areas of expansion because that's what's going to actually put us in sync with catching swing trades mind you i told you for you to catch swing trades the first thing you want to identify is that you want to know if the market is actually trending and since we're catching intraday in sorry intraday price action swings we're going to be actually starting from the daily time frame so i'm going to be going back to the daily time frame to actually identify if we are actually in a trending market condition so i'm going to zoom this um out and we can see so far so good um we can see that price um on the gg has been respecting lows right here so i'm going to use the trend line to be able to show that and um, you can see that um gg has actually been respecting lows right here but we have been noticing that eyes highs on the gg have actually been taken out so we can see that um this high has been taken out right here on the gj you can also see that this high has been taken out we can also see um even these highs this highs over here has actually also been taken out so so far so good we can see that we are in a trending market condition and even to the place we put our replay um two we can see that price has actually expanded in one direction at that zone so so far so good we can literally um beat our chest and say okay we are in a trending market condition on the um gbp japanese yen the second thing you want to identify is i want to identify what range are we trading within so i'm going to be zooming out aggressively to be able to understand the range we're trading within because it's very very um important to understand the range of trading within so we understand that um so far so good price has expanded to that particular high so if i bring um this um i bring this horizontal ray right here and put it at that high we can see that we are still yet to tap that particular high but price has actually expanded um failing to touch that high so let me draw that to be sure right there so if i zoom in let's zoom in to be sure that price has not tapped that high right there oh wow that's nice so price doesn't tap that high right there so that's all good so we are still within this particular range but i will not want to um leave that to chance i also want to go to the weekly time frame to understand if we have a bigger range that we are aiming for because you can see here on the weekly time frame it has already been tapped so we understand the range because that range is going to tell us how much more in price do we have an expansion you get to the buy side 
so let's go back back oh wow that's nice so we have um let's zoom this um properly let's zoom this properly right here i love this so we can see that we still have a high to be targeted right here on the left side of the of the chart so i'm going to mark that out so that's we still have a high right here and we have this series of resistance that's going to come up in price so let me mark this um series of resistance right there so we see our lines with that particular zone so just to keep things clean i'm going to bring price to the bodies of those candles right there so um this is what we have so we still have a range so if price breaks out of this particular range um right here we we can expect price to come back to this particular um um external range right here so if price breaks out of this internal range you want to see price expand further for this external range even for the bodies or the highs and either finding um supports or sorry resistance at this particular zones right here so we see have more moves to go to the buy side so let's draw back to the um daily time frame here so i believe daily is 1d so daily time frame so i'm going to be zooming in clarity i'm going to be zooming in right there so um permit me so now we already identified we're in the trending markets we've already also identified um we are also in um a good range there there are still more moves uh more grounds to cover to the buy side then now we already have two things out of our checklist we've checked out um the market is trending yes that's what we want to see as a swing trader the second thing we already identify okay there are more grounds to be covered so the next one we're looking out for is the model we are applying in good and now we're applying the market makers model good so and the first one we're going to be looking out to using the market maker model is an area of consolidation and we're looking out for the most recent area of consolidation that price has expanded from and without further ado this actually sticks out in price so we're going to draw that out so this particular area actually sticks out in price we want to identify all the lows and the highs properly we want to identify okay that's the high of the consolidation right there and this is the low so we're going to extend this out in time because that's going to be very very significant in catching this particular swing trade because for supply and demand traders they're going to see this area as and as a demand zone where um trades is going to start uh, where they're going to start expecting um buyers to come back into the marketplace but for us smart money traders this is actually a accumulation area you know, it is an area of accumulation where the market makers are, has accumulated order and showing a willingness to choose the buy side so that's what we are we have right here so the next area we're going to drop down after i'm identifying our area of consolidation is going to drop down to the four hours which is the h excuse me which is the h4 oh i'm still making this okay i think I believe it's four h sorry uh still getting conversant with that um on the trading view platform so as you can see right here this is our area of um of accumulation right here so we now know that the market makers at the points in price they accumulated orders at this zone now they've shown a willingness to expand way to the buy side so our swing trade we're expecting more bullish perspective so we want to see if the market maker is going to come back to this particular zone to be able to um mitigate orders or either um unload their orders or actually enter new orders so be able to know what they're actually coming to do we're going to understand what kind of block we have right here so i'm going to be identifying to see um the lows right there i believe that's not necessary for those of you um starting out in smart money um but just for clarity's sake i just want to show you because i like trading with ideas in mind so right there we can see that this particular low took out this particular low right there so what we have here is actually a breaker block so i want to see them come here to unload and take in new orders from the marketplace so they, they have unfilled orders right here because this is actually a breaker block not a mitigation block so this breaker block is actually quite very very strong and very very sensitive so i want to see them come back to this particular zone right on top of this particular line to be able to take out to be able to fill in more orders in the marketplace and we can see right here we have what a fair value gap so that all aligns here on the four hour time frame so we're going to use the replay two and four um because of time i'm going to make it quite fast so i'm going to be using three times so i'm zooming that in right there so we can see price is dropping but we can see that price drop but then actually tapped into our zone so let's keep playing so we don't have any 
reason for alarm and we can see um price bought all the way so you could be watching price and you'd be like wow price already leaving me i want to be part of that i don't guess now or I've, you may be wondering if you're new to this particular concept as price actually tapped into this zone or will price actually leave me and keep expanding to the buy side the answer is no because price has not actually tapped into this area they have not yet taken in their orders all they are doing at this particular area is manipulating price and say they induce sellers into the marketplace now people have their sell stops they have been trailing stops what happened they knocked them out right here all the way back to where the imbalance and mind you they also have a breaker block right here so they came back for their breaker block right into that imbalance and let's see what they keep doing right next wow you see right here they took out liquidity right there so you see how the way they took out liquidity so if you understand that you could actually be selling that could also be an angel for you to sell but mind you are focusing on buying right here we are just swing traders we are not looking to cash intraday price moves so let's just focus on um what we have outlined earlier good and now we have a reaction you can see the way price dropped into our zone clearly clearing out this low so we have multiple confluences right here we can see the way price ran out this low dropped into our fair value gap entered our breaker block right here where we have unfilled orders and what happened we can start seeing a reaction in price right there so we can now go in trusting this particular area we can trust this particular zone why are we going to trust this particular zone because that's actually tapped into our zone the zone we outlined which is the market makers accumulated zone the zone where they have accumulated orders they have unfilled orders so we can now go in right here to start anticipating that they're going to push price to the buy side and where are we expecting to target this particular area so for precise entry we're going to drop down to the one hour because mind you i told you um for the interday um um price action swing you want to start anticipating your entry on the one hour you get you use the daily and the four hours to be able to understand your perspective in price and you drop down all the way to the one hour for your entries and you can see right here um if i um zoom this in properly you can see right here on the one hour that's the fair value gap we have a fair value gap right there you can see how price run out this old daily low right here and you can now see our price is now building once it tapped into that zone you can see the aggressive sell you can see that aggressive sell that they had right here all the way into that zone and you can see how they start building right there so you one thing you can do is you can start going in now for orders because you can see how they are now swallowing up sell orders you can see the way this particular sell order is being swallowed up by this buy they sold again at this point you can see now they swallowed up that particular sell so at this particular zone right here we can start going into have our entry right there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to bring out um i'm going to bring out the um the long um, um zone so i'm going to be entering at that area right there so i'm going to put in my stops below that low right there because in case i'm wrong I want to be no i want to know that i'm wrong earlier right there but there are two things you can actually do for your stops um for those of you i'm wondering um as i put my stops right there you can actually take your stops lower you can take your stops lower to this particular um old low right here for um, more protection in case you are still scared but um for precise entry or better risks to reward you can actually put your stops here so if you get knocked out um you can actually get a better re-entry you know what i say so i'll be putting my stops right here for the sake of this particular video right here so i'm going to be extending my stuff above that high so i want to actually um target this particular high right here so i'm going to be extending this all the way to that particular high right there and um that's it right there right there good and um just for the sake of completeness i'm gonna check time because i'm a smart money trader so i want to see my time confluences so see where i am so this is actually eight o'clock mind you this particular um um this um, um chat is set to new york time so um i'm gonna be looking at the new york time so we have this eight o'clock new york time this 10 this 11 this 14 and this almost towards the end of the day in new york and this 
new york midnight so that's new york midnight right there so that's a very good time zone to enter a swing trade because from new york midnight we are going to be having a good injection of liquidity so it all rhymes up so and mind you this gj you want to say gj um the new york midnight is actually a also an asian session zone so we're still having the asian markets move and mind you this gj we have the japanese yen which is the Tokyo, which will have a Tokyo session influence on our trade. So we have it back in us. So we have perfect alignment with time. But mind you, as a swing trader, you may not need um, a lot of time influences. You may actually need time of day influence if I start going into deeper teachings, but you may not actually need it all the time, especially if you're able to identify your setups um, correctly. So, but for the sake of completeness, I like including my time element because that gives me a lot of backing in actually um, pursuing my setup because I know that the moment I enter my buy, I'm going to start seeing um, a lot of um, volume and volatility supporting my direction. So without further ado, just for the fun of it, I'm going to be clicking a buy right here just for the fun of it to see how that plays out. So I'm going to be clicking the play too and let's see how that plays out. So we don't want to see price come back and take us out. If that do happens, we're going to have an re-entry. So, so far, so good. We can see our price is building. We can see price building. Wow. And you can see that since we entered, price has no, oh, wow, okay, price is coming down here. But so far, so good. You can see the impulse buy we had because we entered with the right timing, right? there. We entered with the right timing. Wow, good, good, good. We're almost taking uh, at our take profits. Take the profits. Okay, price is coming back to fill that void a little right there. Okay, okay, okay okay take out take profit good and that's it right there you can see the moment it hits the take profit you can see the rejection in price and um we made actually let's see how much you made right here we made um three thousand japanese yen wow japanese yen. who makes who wants to be trading with japanese yen uh but that's just for the fun of it but you can see um what happened actually price actually delivered accurately right there and you can see the moment it's tanked out of this particular zone right here you can see we had a rejection right there and why is that because just above it is also our external range we are going to be aiming for later on in price that we're getting now so you can see the moment price tanked out of this particular range we had this high to this particular low right here we can see our price walks within that range right there attacking the liquidity above that area you can see the moment he does that price rejected instantly good so you can see this is how you can actually crash a sniper entry you can see this is actually a sniper entry right here price didn't actually look back so for those of you that will go into price and actually apply this particular model you can go and see things for yourself go and backtest use other pairs you know and say that are actually trending mind you the first step you want to know that the price the market is actually marketplace is actually trending you want a trending market condition you don't want a lethargic or a consolidating market condition you want a market that's actually trending then you can now start applying this market maker buy model or sell model so the model we actually applied right here is a market maker model we use the consolidation and the expansion and that's all we needed for this particular setup you know what i'm saying and that is what we did right here mind you this zone is our area of accumulation we saw an expansion to the buy side and what happened price dropped down into our accumulation zone and what happened price sorry uh, what happened from um then on we saw price what expand to the buy side simple tara so i hope you found value in today's video i hope you understand everything i shared you on this um video if you really don't understand you can check out um the uh, market makers um videos i have here on this channel i discuss a lot about the market makers and a lot of other smart money videos are here on this channel that can actually better improve your entries and exit but for the swing trading approach this is something you can actually go and start actually implementing i believe you watch this video a couple of times at least two or three times you'll be able to be able to grab the understanding and it comes to an idea i actually shared you on this video if i went over something very fast please bear with me I'm just trying to stick with time and try to make this video as short as possible so that most of you that don't like watching long videos will actually um, benefit from this video in a very short amount of time. I believe this video is actually short because I don't know what the time of recording is. But without further ado, I love you guys and thank you for your support here on this channel. If more swing trading um, um, content is going to be coming out for those of you that are swing traders that are committed to this channel. I'm going to bring out more swing 
trading content for you guys but this is something you can go in and start applying um on a weekly basis on a day basis to actually find entries for your swing trade so without further ado see you in more video hit the like button the subscribe button and you know what it is more videos yeah